I used to work the Child Abuse and Neglect Investigation Card for Vancouver Police, Car 86. It's a program that puts a police officer and a social worker out in the field dealing with dangerous situations, rescuing children. And I just recently learned that one of my social worker partners in that program, Pat Lee, has passed on. I was invited to her memorial service, but unfortunately, duty calls and I have to work VPD dispatch that night. So I decided to prepare this video tribute. And I was specifically asked by her co-workers to come up with funny stories about Pat, and that's pretty easy to do because she was the kind of person that could make you laugh. My favorite, we had gone to a meal break, Pat and I, car 87, the mental health car, the youth probation car. And the six of us were just leaving the restaurant afterwards discussing the cases that we were supposed to do that night. And Pat was on her cell phone talking to someone at the office about the case that we were about to do. And she's doing this. Charles, where's my cell phone? I said, Pat, you're on it. At the beginning of shift, I used to have to grab a handful of pens because during the course of the shift, sure as I'm sitting here, she would lose every single last one of them one at a time. Every shift. And when we got to write reports at the end of shift, she'd suddenly get this crazed look on her face and head for the thermostat. You knew you were working with someone with PMS. Pat, get away from the thermostat. Hands where I can see him, Pat. Step away from the thermostat. Her car was broken into in the parking lot once. She took us police officers down to take a look to see if we could find out what was amiss. And her car perpetually looked like it had been ransacked. I mean, it looked like a homeless person lived in there. It was impossible to tell whether anything had been taken out of the car. I'm probably giving you the impression, telling you all this, that she was a bit of a scatterbrain. And truth to tell, there were times when her mind kind of worked like a pinball machine. I mean, the ball would get to where it needed to go in the end, but it took this circuitous route getting there. But let's be really clear. When the shit hit the fan, when things went pear-shaped, when things got ugly, she was on the game. She was decisive. She got the job done. She always had your back. And she had absolutely photographic memory for details of cases that she'd done decades ago. She'd suddenly talk about some person that she dealt with in the case 30 years earlier. She'd be bang on. Pat focused on what was important. <clears throat> and she got the job done. And we wouldn't have let her in the car else. And she was compassionate. In Car 86, we had this huge bag full of teddy bears in the trunk always because we deal with traumatic cases and, and traumatized kids we give them these bears to try and comfort them pat was forever getting me to pull over in the downtown east side she'd get her sights on some bedraggled prostitute on a street corner and she'd have me pull over bail out get in the trunk and hand this sorry looking street worker a bear i called it pat's bears for hose campaign amazing <clears throat> you know what i'm a published author i've written several books on warrior philosophy some of which have won awards. I'm ex-military, ex-police, current police dispatcher. I've been doing martial arts for more than 40 years. I'm the founder of a modern order of knighthood. I hang out with warriors. I am one. Some people will tell you that being a warrior is about combat. It's not true. It's not about fighting. It's about effectiveness. It's about taking charge. It's not about using these. It's about using this. Make no mistake about it, Pat was a warrior. And if we're talking about warrior, about Bushido, the, the Japanese code, loyalty, justice, sincerity, courtesy, compassion, courage, honor, Pat was all of those things. Pat was a warrior and like so many warriors, she was encamped upon the field of battle when she was taken from us. Not in the battle, resting on the sidelines, ready to go back into the fray. 70s. She's in her 70s. She's still putting on body armor and going out there and doing this. It's amazing. So, Pat, you've earned your rest. This warrior considered it an honor and a privilege to have served with you. You're an inspiration to all of us, and I salute you.